What's going on guys? Got another video for you today. Um, just another haul. A uh, decent little stack of books here, so uh, nothing crazy, but some good stuff, so you don't like to waste your time. I'll go ahead and get started. Just one even pick up for this uh, little haul. It was a cheap one too. This was $5. Uh, got this uh, Deathstroke New 52 number 4, and this is the 1 in 25 variant, so like I said, 5 bucks. Pretty solid deal on that. Um, I really enjoyed reading this run, so I'd like to put it together in single issues. And yeah, Deathstroke's one of the main guys I buy, so really happy to grab that. And then this next little haul I just got back from, uh, spent $32 on these books. This is from a comic shop that I don't uh, normally go to, but I uh, figured I'd stop in, uh, see what they had. So these were 25% uh, off. Uh, with the stickers on them. Uh, Avengers number 33, this is the Age of Conchu. I also read this trade, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the first appearance of some kind of Conchu thing, but grab that for $9. And then also got this for $9. This is a 1 in 25 Deathstroke variant. Well, it's a DC Vampires variant, but it's got Deathstroke on there, so that's pretty sick. Any Deathstroke ratio or any ratio of a guy I like for Less than 10 I'm going to grab. And then the rest of these I just got at cover price, but I've been wanting to put Spawn together, so... Well, not all of it, but, you know, at least as much as I can. I think that's going to be a, a cool, fun run. So I grabbed a few of these. Got 322. And then 337 through 339. So those are some, uh, some cool books. Happy to find those spawn. Part of the reason why I want to get spawn is because I feel like when I'm looking through back issues and all that kind of thing, like pretty much all the recent spawns are gone. Like those three that I, or those four that I picked up, I only left like two or three spawn books in there. So, and that was everything they had. So spawn's a, you know, pretty, pretty hot commodity. And then uh, this next hole here, I forget exactly how much I spent, but you can see the, Stickers on them. Uh, this was at my local. This is at my local comic shop that I go up to pretty much every week, and I pretty much always grab an invincible issue, so I couldn't change it up. Uh, this is number fifty-two. It was ten bucks. Just one I didn't have yet, so I figured I'd grab it. And then the one new comic book that I got is uh, City of the Dead number five, which is the last issue from this little mini series. Um, I read that; it was okay. Probably wasn't worth the twenty dollars I spent on it, but I'm gonna buy a new Moon Knight book. Uh, then I grabbed this Terminator number forty, pretty cool. Once you get past like fifty, these get a little more expensive, but didn't have that one yet. Then I got this uh, Batman New Fifty Two number ten, uh, similar to a lot of stuff I buy. I read this, enjoyed it, so I want to put the run together. Um, number 10 is pretty early. It's not worth much more than four bucks, but I thought that was cool. And I figured this was worth more than four dollars. The last last book I got from that little haul is uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number six. Or sorry, the all-new Spider-Man number six. Um, so this is a fairly early Miles, and yeah, I figured that was worth more than four bucks. And then final little haul was like thirty bucks, I think. A pretty decent stack here from a used bookstore. I love going to this place. They have just killer deals. So, yeah, show them off. Got this Moon Knight number six. This is the cover A. I also have the cover B with the uh, the bloody variant, the one in ten. So I had to grab that. It's three bucks. Pretty cool one. Most of these were less than a dollar though. Like this was fifty cents. Just didn't have this Destro King number one cover A. And I grabbed all these Daredevils for uh, 85 cents each. Just trying to fill as much of this run out as I can. 205. 237. I have a lot in the 200s. I actually had to leave a bunch because I don't really need duplicates. 242. 245. And 277. Like I said, those are all 85 cents, so less than a dollar, man, that's awesome. This one was a dollar. 
uh, Ed Brubaker's Captain America. I'm actually about to finish reading this whole run uh, in the next couple of days. I finally got all the trades in, so that's pretty cool. And this is one of my earliest books from this run. Obviously, it's number three. It doesn't get much earlier than that, but really stoked to find that. And then this one was, yeah, this one was $3. Um, Batman, New Fatigue number five. This is a variant. I already have number five, but didn't have the variant, so grab that. Then got uh, number nine as well. That was a dollar. Next up, grab this Demon for 50 cents. Number 10 from the 90s run. Last couple books here. Got the Century. I love grabbing Century. One of my favorite, like, oddball characters. This is uh, number three, Fantastic Four variant. Kind of sucks, but it's a Century book, so I got it. Got this Booster Gold, number one, like, lenticular. I don't know, it's 50 cents, so just got it. And then last book, got this uh, Miss Marvel, number 16, for 85 cents. So that's everything for the haul. Uh, nothing crazy, but a few decent bins I went through. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and thanks for watching.